What is up guys, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're playing some more EA Sports UFC 4. We're diving in today against Derek Lewis, the final man in the heavyweight division. Now, I want to say, it's, it's, it's pretty bad because we've beat everybody in the heavyweight division. Derek Lewis is the last guy we need to get through. And uh, I'm thinking about going down. I'm thinking about going down. And I'll show you why after this fight. I probably should have included it when we started the uh, when we started the video. But it's all good. I just wanted to get straight into the fight. Get it started. You know, start beating on Derek Lewis. The game plan is still the same. Wear him out. Beat his ass. You know, just, just rip him to shreds. But I really like Derek Lewis. He's one of my favorite uh, UFC fighters. He's so funny. But uh, we got to do it to him, man. Hector beats Derek Lewis. You've got to think that he's the best ever. He's in the heavyweight division. He's dominated everybody. No one has even came close to hurting Hector, let alone winning. So we've got to see what happens here. We're just trying to beat on him for now. We're really trying to beat on him. Nice reversal, though, from Derek Lewis. The Black Beast here getting some shots in. Which you don't really... I didn't really expect this. Okay. He's Derek Lewis doing what we do. Okay. That's okay. Hector's a genius down here, bro. You ain't going to manhandle him. It is, bro. Nope. Hector's trying to get back up. Derek Lewis, though, looks good. So I'm talking about going down if the super fight is offered. We beat everybody. Everybody. And Lewis will be the last heavyweight. I'll show you guys in the rankings after this. Okay. Just going to maul him, going to wear him out, deny the transitions, beat on him a little bit. And then we're going to try and get another submission here. That's the plan. There we go. A lot of patience here from Hector Basileus. And make sure you secure your opponent. Slamming in these hammer fists. There we go. I think he did get that. That's perfect, though. I was expecting to transition again straight away and catch me off guard. He didn't do that. Man, Hector's looking so dominant so far, man. Is that side control? Crucifix again. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed nope. martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles nope. on the ground. All I'm trying to do here really is make him panic, make him transition, and tire there? him out. I'm not even looking to strike too much here. I'm looking. That's what I'm looking to do. Final Deny these transitions. I'm not really even looking to knock him out like this. Him Just drain that stamina. Needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have there we go. Did we get that? No, we didn't. This man has embraced it. There we go. Hector Basileus here, really putting on a striking and grappling clinic. Did we get that? No, we did not. Now for the last few seconds, we're just going to rip the body. Beautiful shots from Basileus there. Beautiful first round. Dominant. Dominant. We're going to keep going. After this fight, though, I will show you the heavyweight division. We beat everybody. If we beat Derek Lewis, we beat everyone in the top eight. And uh, at least when we go to light heavyweight, there is a chance to, you know, fight these guys, fight some new guys, you know? I believe Luke Rockhold is the champion. But we could see. We'll see what happens. I'm not looking to knock him out, though. I'm looking for another submission. I feel like we can take him out for a submission. I'm just trying to make him panic here. I'm not even trying to hurt him. I'm so just trying to make him panic and use all of his uh, energy to get out of this position. Go. He's going to roll. Now, I want him to roll. There we go. Now, I'm just going to go back into half guard. I might throw a few shots here. I'm not going to throw too many. He's banged up, though. Back into the saddle. Very, very soon. I feel like we're working for this round. Oh, that hammer fist attempt and then the next well round, we're really going to look to get that uh, get that right, submission locked in, now. you know? We'll see if he can advance position. Again with the shots. Just taking my just time, just being patient and, you know, nice. landing these shots oh, here. Really nice work to keep busy Derek Lewis is going to reverse that. I went the other way. Nice. He's stamina. 
Stamina is a massive thing in this one. He's going to use up a lot. See, Hector's calm. Hector's calm as they come. It's that full guard position. This is fine. Let him use up all his stamina missing, you know? Because he's got a gear team waiting for him on the way back down. Let's go. Let's see what his submission defense is like. DC did submit uh, Derek Lewis, so... Let's we'll see. Gotta focus. Oh, we're getting a finish here. He's out. I think he's out. No, we got him. We got him. Hector Basilius does it again. Submission number five. Let's go. Guillotine show. Hector Basilius. The Basileus, I can't even speak. I'm just excited, man. Dominant finish. Derek Lewis out again. Crazy, crazy performance there from Hector. Another submission win. I could feel like we was going to submit him, you know? I just felt that that was on the way, if that makes sense. Another submission. Hector's the real deal, man. He's the best ever. Undefeated, 23-0. Still the heavyweight champion of the world. Let's go. Let's see what's next. If that super fight does turn up, I might just have to take it. I might just have to take it. And the reason is, we've defended our belt more than any other guy, I believe. I believe we defend... That's our fifth title defense, I believe. I might be wrong, but I think it might be our fifth title defense. I'll check after this anyway. Um, let's get back to the menu. Demolishing Derek Lewis in two rounds with a guillotine choke. Another submission win. I believe that is the fifth submission win for Hector Basileus. So, you know, he's, he's the real deal, man. He's getting in there and he's throwing down with these boys. And uh, they, can't, they, they can't handle it, man. He's, he's, he's too good. He's too good. Way too good on the ground there. And there we go. Basileus gets it done. This man, he is something else when it comes to the heavyweight division. They cannot stop him. They cannot stop him. I don't know what they're going to do. Honestly, he has just beat everyone, I believe, near enough in the top 10, which is insane. Even on the way up or title defense, he has crushed everybody. I don't know what's next for him. Honestly, I don't know what's next. Uh, the super fight, I feel like he's going to turn up soon. That is our fifth title defense there. We defended it against Andre Arlovsky, uh, Stipe Miotic, Curtis Blades, Jarzinho Rosenstruck, and Derek Lewis there. Domination from start to finish in the heavyweight division. He's never lost a round, let alone a fight. And... Uh, it's insane. It's insane. Hector Basileus, he is far from done, though. I wonder if the super fight is going to turn up. Ovin St. Preux, I believe that is, has just retired. And still no word of a super fight. Now, what I wanted to do real quick was show you this division uh, and where we're kind of sitting. So, we are sitting now comfortably in a good position. Obviously, 23-0, 22 finishes, I believe. Derek Lewis, we just beat. We've beat Curtis Blades twice. we beat Alistair Overeem for the title. Stipe Miotic, we beat... Junior Dos Santos, we submitted. We submitted Andre Arlovsky. We submitted Rosenstruck. These two, I believe. I believe he is a randomly generated fighter, Lee Hogan. Taito Ivasa is the only guy in the top 10 that I'm interested in fighting. We haven't got the super fight yet either, which is interesting. Stefan Struve, we beat as well. And Volkov sitting in there as well. Uh, now, the reason I was talking about going down was if we have a look at their division... Uh, there are so many more names in there that we haven't fought, and we have the opportunity to fight. We've got Luke Rockhold, who is the uh, light heavyweight champion. Jack Ade Souza. Uh, we have Corey Anderson, Dominic Reyes, Alexander Gustafsson, Misha Kirkinov, Gokhan Saki, Volkan Ozdemir, Anthony Smith, Nikita Krylov. Uh, I believe that one, Tyrell Santos, is a randomly generated fighter again. And the same for Jose Luis Gonzalez. Uh, and Andreas Cervantes. I think these are some randomly generated fighters in the top 15. But yeah, there are a lot of still a, a lot of real names down there that we could beat. Uh, but I don't know. It looks like uh, it looks like we got to defend our title again. It looks like the super fight isn't even going to happen for a while, which is you know what I'm not too bothered about. We got another fight with Junior Dos Santos. We mauled him the first time. I want to see if we can get someone else. Maybe Struve. He, I think he deserves a rematch. Even Overeem. I think he deserves a rematch. So I guess we'll see. Andre, okay, no, there's no way we're fighting Olofsky. We mauled Andre Olofsky. Absolutely mauled him. Brad Tavares just retired. Who's next? Who's next? Please, give me someone. Uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. He was champion for a while on the way up. I'll take it. Alistair Overeem gets his shot at the belt. Let's go. 
Alrighty, so it's fight week. Alistair Overeem is here. He is ready. I just want to have a look at some of these real quick. We've got 10 finishes in the UFC, 5 submissions, 5 knockouts. Um, I feel like Alistair Overeem might be a little bit tough to submit, uh, but I'm going to give it a try. You know, we'll give it a real good try, but let's rock and roll. This is what happens. We've been in 7 main events, which is absolutely insane. Uh, you know, with 10 fights in the UFC. Insane, or 11, I believe. I believe it's 11. But anyway, we're going to rock and roll. Um, don't really know what to go for. Um, hmm. I, I think our clinch striking is pretty good. Our bottom game is not great. We could go for some of that. Uh, submission defense as well. We don't really get caught in submissions, but, you know, it's always good to have it there if need be. And we went for some recovery just in case we do get cracked, you know. We can kind of pull back a little bit quicker. But there we go. 55 and 20. This dude has had so many fights. Let's rock and roll. Let's let's get in there. Alistair Overeem about to get another one. Let's see what happens. He's had 75 fights, bro. Jeez. And uh, he's about to have his 76th against Hector Basileus. Or Basileus. I can't speak. Against Hector Basileus. 40 heavyweight strap. Is he going to be able to beat him? We beat him the first time. We actually won the belt off Alistair Overeem. So uh, kind of cool that we're giving him a rematch, I guess. But... Let's rock and roll. Let's see what happens. Um, I'm looking to do the same. Right, I up, might try and get another submission. Same game plan. Wear planet. him down. The beat UFC him up. Submit him. But I guess we'll see. We'll see what happens. Let's go. Now, I want to let this run a minute. I want to see how old Hector is. Because uh, he's been fighting for a long time. You know, 23-0. I want to see where his age is at. Right, so Overeem is a very old dude now. I believe he's about 50 odd in this now. Which is just crazy. But I guess we'll see. We'll see. Without coming across the name okay. Yes, the Ream is here. He's ready. Debuted his octagon in 2011. Said, in this career mode, it's now 2029. Held the UFC title so, has wow. Before in his career and will be Insane. To earn another chance at the He's an old dude, man. I'm going to not take pleasure in this, but... but the one thing that is overlooked. It is what it is. We need to get him out of there. We need to win this belt. We need to keep defending. You know, we're the best. We're he I think, honestly, Hector is the best ever on the channel. I believe he's the GOAT. But we'll see. He's still got more work to do. Here we go. Hector Basileus enters the octagon. How old is this man? How old is he? There he is in the flesh. I want to see what it says about him as well. For some reason, it's America. Couldn't find Greece. Powerful ground and pound. 12 fights in a row. Four out of his last five by submission. He has really, really came into a submission specialist with James Chow. And he has been working around the clock to train Hector Basileus. This man is something else. One of the best ever. If he beats Reem again, man... I don't even know what's next for Basileus. He's dominated everybody. No one comes close. He's 27. And uh, what's his face? Overeem is 49. 27 years of age on top of the world. Isn't even in his prime considered yet. I believe the prime is about 30, they say, for MMA. So, you know, he's a young buck. He's already driving him down to the canvas. Wrestling takedowns level 5. Here we go. Let's see what the Ream can do, though. The first time, domination. So let's see if the Ream has improved since last time. Maybe not. Jeez. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I can deal with this. I can deal with that. That's nothing. He's throwing up a lot of fakes. Nice takedown or nice uh, transition denial there. Here we go. Here is where we really want to be working. And every shot thrown, I'm looking to try and counter straight after. I'm going to tire him out. This is a young man's game, man, and you, you're, you're too old. It's not bad if you're an Overeem fan. Elbow there. Try and mix in the hammer fist. Put the hammer fist is quicker. That'll work. Side control a little bit better. A lot of options at his disposal I guess. Right, he's going to posture up. Off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip Just, I'm trying to bust him over. Hurt. Okay. Oh, he's going to take the back. No, that's bad. Got to watch the choke. Got to watch that choke. There we go. Trying to pass here. Ooh, gets God. Gets nice, nice. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. I feel like he was going to kind of panic and get out of that, though. Posture. Oh, this fighter, you're you can just beat him up for a bit. 
but ripping the ribs as well. Nice. Still looking for the submission, just not yet. Side saddle. He's really quick with these uh, transitions, though. Real quick. I am looking to deny them. You know, try and try and tire him out. There we go. Nice hammer fist. Working well. And then we go rip the body in a second. Well, there are a few things more deny that. There we go. Rip that body. Transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling could really be entertaining. Waiting. I know he's going to want to get out of this. There we go. Deny that. Deny that as well. Nice. He got that one. He did get up. Let's see, we're just going to pressure him like mad. Counter there from Reem. Nice knee there to the body. Nice. Slam him. Nice. Beautiful takedown. Gonna posture up again and just batter him. Nice. There we go. Denies that. Amazing first round. Probably the best so far. Just keep going with it. Alrighty. I want to watch. It. Just keep him on the ground. I think. I think he's he's striking. He's too good. There we go. He's left. Working down, there we go. To change this because the, this guy on top Solid. is so good with his pressure. So far, anyway. He's not even controlling your body with Posture his up. And that's the detail that everybody Yeah, I'm just trying to ground and pound. Really, I'm working on the uh, denial, so I want to deny these transitions. Is moving. It's he ain't really moving in. He's just doing this. This ain't nothing. I can do that. There is a real, real See, this is good. There's He's going to use a lot of stamina going over. Guillotine's there. To his and pound. So let's see. You don't want to be anywhere near his this now, I know Overeem's got some really good defense, so he might be a bit tricky to submit. Oh, nice but let's there. see. Yeah, he's, he's, he's hard to submit. We might need to work a little bit more. Tiring him out. Nice close. We get him. Oh, we got him. Let's go. Another one down. Six submissions in the UFC. Five knockouts. It's pretty good. An 11 free gear team as well. Let's go. Job done. I don't know what's next now. Honestly, don't know. We beat most of that division up, so. Everyone from rank 9, I believe. We took out, so. There you go. Take down there. Smashed him with that. Still had to be 24 and 0. I think that's pretty good. I don't know what's next. I guess we'll wait for an offer and then see. I don't know. The super fight's got to be soon, surely. I doubt, but there you go. Alrighty, so in in shape there. That's another contract complete. We could sign a deal actually. I forgot about that. We can sign a sponsorship deal for more money if we need to. But I, th I think at this point in the career, we're pretty good <laughs> when it comes to comes to the dough. Um, so there we go. The title didn't move from the waist of Hector MMA. We submitted over Reem tonight. I mean, pretty good. There's two guillotines in this video as well. So. You know, pretty decent submissions now. Um, I feel like it's getting a lot better. I think Guillotine is probably our best submission we got. And then the next one is the, the rear naked choke is uh, pretty good as well. So, let's see. Let's see what they offer us. Hopefully, it's uh, something else. Hopefully, you know, Taito Ivasa is coming up. So, maybe someone like that. I mean, everyone else we kind of beat. And so, don't really know. Don't really know who else do we can fight, to be honest. But... Let's, uh, let's see, I guess. Let's see. So that is our SIP title defense, I believe. Yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, so that's the most title defense we've had. We've Overeem. Uh, who else we got? Rosenstruck, Derek Lewis, uh, Curtis Blades, Stipe Miotic, and Andre Arlovsky. I believe five of them was a submission. We only knocked out Stipe, so we could get Stipe back in there and submit him as well. Why not? <laughs> All right. So what's next, though? Let's see. Alexander Gustafsson, the new light heavyweight champion. Still no word of the super fight, which is really weird. I don't I don't understand that. We'll get another fight in, though. I mean, we got time in this video. Let's just see what they offer us. Curtis Blades again. We beat him twice. 
you know, I'm gonna leave it there. I, I don't, I don't think we need to fight him again. To be honest, I think there's a uh, there's other fights in the division we could take. And, uh, you know, give people rematches. Andrei Arlovsky might be one of them if we have a look at... Let's have a look at the rankings. Let's have a look at where people sit. Now, Curtis Blades is working his way up, but we have beat him twice. Like, I don't know if there's anything... You know, is there any point? I think one more win for Tai Tuivasa, and he could get in there. Junior Dos Santos dropping down as well. The Stipe rematch, I'll take... You know what? Should we take Arlovsky? I think I'm going to decline it. I think I'm going to decline the Arlovsky fight. I think. We've had six defenses, though, which is crazy. That's, that's really good. Let's go. I'll decline it. Hopefully, we get Stipe. I wouldn't mind Stipe. Trying to submit him. Let's see. Or maybe Dos, Dos Santos. Yeah, Stipe. There we go. All right, let's go. That's the next fight. Let's get it. Stipe Miocic looking to right that wrong that he had to Hector Basileus a long time ago. Can he do it? I don't know. But uh, first and foremost, we have 78 professional points to put on. Professional points. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what to increase. I, I, I swear I say this every single time. But I feel like our character is just a beast now, you know. He's uh, four and a half stars. He's nearly five stars, which is uh, crazy. Uh, we're going to go for some punch power. Maybe I don't really want to increase that kicking game because we don't really use it anyway. Accuracy might be nice. Just kind of setting up a takedown. Uh, maybe some takedown defense. I see that creeping down there. Um, yeah, I don't think we can get anything else. But yeah, there's no way we're a five-star fighter yet. But we are definitely creeping up to the five-star rating, uh, which is pretty cool. Let's rock and roll, though. Stipe Miotic is up next. Can we get another submission win here? That would be absolutely huge if we could. Three submissions in a video would be insane. I don't know if you've ever had that. So let's rock and roll. Let's go. So we beat Alistair Overeem uh, a minute ago, and that was, uh, that was a lot of fun. We, uh, we took him out. A guillotine choke again. Uh, taking him and Derek Lewis out in this video. Can we get Stipe out of there? And, uh, you know, really, really, you know, prove that we are good with the submissions now as well. they got to watch out for that. Set right, the ground and pound. The they got to keep an eye out and getting choked as well. So let's see what happens. Stipe is ready. The first fight, I believe we ground and pounded him to a finish. But this fight, we're going to try and knock it out. Uh, we're going to try and knock him out. We're going to try and submit him. Can we get more submission wins in the octagon than knockouts? I don't know. Let's see. Miotic looks ready. Hector looks ready as well. Okay, okay, motherfucker. Try that again. Ready. Six title defenses. Can he do it again? Can he be recognized as the baddest man on the planet ever? I don't know. I guess we'll see. Hector Basileus there. Domination so far. This is what he just does to people. But like when you're in this position, you shouldn't be annoyed. Everyone else ends up here as well. Everybody. Hector smashes everyone. This is just what he does. He's breaking through that guard. Oh. Stipe's bastard. Bastard. He's busted open. Battered and bruised here. Okay, let's watch out. See that coming? Posture, maybe. Just land a few, dude. I don't want to knock him out again. Blood is flowing on the eyes of Miotic. Trying to deny that transition. He does manage to swing back in. Okay. I thought we got that, but okay. That's fine. That's fine. Go for a gear team. We can do that. We've gone for two in this video and they worked. He might not be no different. Let's see. He's a little bit too early, but we'll try. Why not? we got the stamina. It's going to tire both of us, but I feel like Hector can do this all day, you know? If we could submit him off the bat, that'd be huge. Submitting Stipe is difficult anyway. We'll see. Oh, yeah, I don't think we got him. No. Oh. Get him, we got him! First round submission! Hector Basileus! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness. He's the best ever! He's the best ever! Unbelievable! The best ever! Seven consecutive title defenses! Hector Basileus! First round submission! Three guillotines in this video! The guillotine master is Hector Basileus. And still, UFC heavyweight champion of the world. 
10 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. And Let's go. Basileus does it again. Amazing. Amazing. You can't stop this man. He's too good. He's too good. Way too good. Another fight down. And I don't know what's next for him, to be honest. I do not know what's next. He has taken out everybody. Another title defense. Seven consecutive defenses in the heavyweight division. He is the most dominant champion ever in the heavyweight division. It is unbelievable. He has broke that streak. And now we're looking at a, uh, you know, a potential legend on the channel. Uh, it's been crazy. But he pulls off a first round guillotine choke. He's choked out Reem and Derek Lewis. They've both done the same thing. They both swept him over. And uh, Hector's like, hell no, you're not doing that, man. I'll choke you out. I didn't think he'd get it just because of the stamina. Usually we have to wear these guys down. That was the game plan coming in, tiring him out. When his stamina is low, then we shoot him for a submission. But we didn't even need that today. We didn't even need that. We just shot in, guillotine, and done. Took him out. Another title defense. Look at all of those red gems, bro. He's too good. Stipe Miotic. Okay, can I see these real quick? Okay, Adista Overeem, Derek Lewis, Jarzinho Rosenstruck, Curtis Blades, Steve Miotic again, and Andrei Arlovsky. Unbelievable. Unbelievable career so far, man. Is that 24 and 0 or 25? I don't even know at this point. I'm not really paying attention to the record. I'm just paying attention to mauling these guys. Uh, okay, Killer Gorilla. I think that's... Uh, is that... Oh, what's his name? Jared Cadenier and Paulo Costa have both retired. Interesting. Okay, there we go, though. 25 and 0. 13 consecutive wins in the UFC. 25 consecutive wins in his uh, career. Andre Arlovsky, they're going to keep giving me this fight. <sighs> Do we take it? I'm going to decline it one last time. I think I'll decline it one last time just to see if we can get maybe Tai to Ivasa. Maybe someone like that. Maybe a Junior Dos Santos again. I'm not fighting. Okay, do we fight Rosenstruck again? Let me see the rankings real quick. I want to see where everyone is. Because um, obviously we are the champion. So uh, we want to see. Tai Tuivas is working his way up. I'm, I'm holding out. I'm holding out for Tai. Just because it's a new face. It's a new uh, op like opportunity to fight someone different. Jarzinho, we dominated as well. That was a really, really bad fight for him. We, we mauled him. So yeah, I'm holding out for Tuivasa. Come on, Tai. Let's go. Tuivasa. Curtis Blades, uh, no. We beat you twice, bro. Come on. It better not be Stipe again. Please don't be Stipe. Who the fuck? Okay, we can't decline any more fights, so it looks like Lee Hogan is the next guy. Um, okay, for today's episode, though, guys, I am going to end it here. Thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed it, hit the like button, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you for more EA Sports UFC 4 next time. Stay awesome, guys. Have an amazing day, and I will see you all again in the next video.